Only two more months to go till family vacation. I can hardly wait. Robert, Mom wants you to come downstairs and take out the trash. Don't bother me. I'm picturing myself out on the big lake. I'm reeling in fish after fish. I'm picturing you all bent over, getting swat after swat, if you don't get downstairs. Why don't you take out the trash? That's your job, Robert. I do the dishes. Well, let's trade jobs tonight. I already did the dishes. So what do you want to trade? I'm not doing your job for you. You're not doing anything right now anyway. I'm planning everything I'm going to do on vacation. I'm going to push you into the lake. Go fishing. Put bugs in your bed. Go fishing. Put worms in your shoes. Go fishing. Very funny. You might be interested to know that we're not going anywhere for vacation this year. What? We're not going anywhere for family vacation. We're staying home. Staying home? What kind of vacation is that? We always go to the lake and Dad and I go fishing. What happened? I'm not sure. You'll have to ask Dad or Mom. I'm checking this out. You better not be kidding me. I'm not kidding. Take out the trash while you're downstairs, too. Brothers. <laughs> I can't believe it. Everything Edna said was true. We're staying home for family vacation this year. I told you I wasn't kidding. Mom said Dad would explain it to us later. I don't understand. We go to the lake every year. I'm sure there's a very good reason for not going. There can't be a good reason. The only way I'll be able to go fishing is to dump your goldfish in the bathtub and fish in there. You leave my goldfish alone! What could have happened? Hey kids, would you come downstairs to the living room? I need to talk to you. Maybe Dad lost his job and we're going to be homeless people on the street. That can't happen, Robert. Mom and Dad are givers, and the Psalms say, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. I wasn't going to beg. I was going to make a sign that says we'll trade sister for food. We need to get downstairs and hear what Dad has to say. We'll be right there, Dad. We're coming. I know you're probably disappointed that we're not taking our usual family vacation. Did you lose your job, Dad? No, Robert. I didn't lose my job. Maybe you're just tired of the same old, same old. Is that it? No, that's not it. I love our family vacation. What is it, Dad? You know how our church is growing? Our pastor has been led of the Lord to have a capital stewardship campaign so we can build a larger building to care of all the people who are coming. What's a capital stewardship campaign? That's when different candidates run for the office of chief steward in the church. Not exactly. Very simply, the pastor has asked each family to pray and ask the Lord what he would have them to do over and above their normal tithes and offerings over the next three years. If each of us all make a sacrifice as the Lord directs us, we'll be able to build our building and reach more people for Jesus. But how does that have anything to do with our vacation? Well, when I prayed and asked the Lord what our part was, He impressed upon me to give the money I save each year for our vacation. Why do we have to sacrifice our vacation money? It's only a building. It's not just a building, Robert. It's a way to reach more people for Christ. It takes money to preach the gospel to people. I thought the gospel was free. The message is free, but the methods to get the gospel preached cost money. It costs money to build buildings and have children's programs and send missionaries around the world. Does this mean we don't get to go to the lake for three years? You're not seeing things right, son. If God ever asks you to sacrifice anything, 
He intends to make it up to you beyond what you can imagine. I'm going to take the time off. Well, do lots of fun things around here together. I want you to pray and ask the Lord what he would have you to do for the campaign as well. Okay, Dad. I think I've done enough already, but I'll pray. Are you sure, Lord? Are you sure you want me to sell my fishing pole and give that money for the new church building? Do you know what the Lord wants you to sacrifice, Robert? I think so. He told me to sell one of my priceless dolls from my beautiful princess collection and give that money to the campaign. I made about two million dollars on eBay. I think he wants me to do the same thing with my fishing pole. Robert! Edna! I've got some great news! Have I got some news for you? What is it, Dad? Each year my company runs a contest to see which department has the greatest overall impact on the company for that year. This year, my department won! That's great, Daddy. Yeah, congratulations. What did you win? Are you ready for this? This year, the first prize was an all-expense-paid trip to the Great Northern Family Fishing Lodge. We're going on vacation after all. Yippee! Your sacrifice worked, Dad. You gave up our vacation and the Lord gave us a bigger one back. Get out of my way. Mom. I've got to sell this fishing pole. <laughs> I'm so glad that I learned my lesson about giving things up for God. You see? It really works out in the end. The Bible says in Hebrews 13, Do not forget to do good and to share with others. For with such sacrifice, God is pleased. I sure know that now. Oh, look. I think I got a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fish had him. Good thing we have insurance on these borrowed poles. Now that's thinking ahead. It sure is, hun. It sure is.